It's one of the premier games of Week 8, the 4-2 and two Cleveland Browns finding new ways to win each week. Here comes that Cleveland defense. Garrett knocked it loose. Who's got it? Appears as though the Colts have recovered. Now they say Cleveland football. On the road in the Northwest against the 4-2 and two Seahawks, sort of a battle against two squads without specific identities, aside from winning twice as many games as they've lost. Smith with time, throws to the end zone. Pole ball, the antenna receiver. Boy, was that close to being a touchdown. After reviewing the play, it is a touchdown. This is one of the hardest matchups to preview because the Browns are not an easy team to understand. Here's the best way to put it. Their defense gave up 38 points last week. Fires over the middle, completes. Pittman, Pittman breaking free. Colts retake the lead. And this crazy game continues. And the Browns won. So it was just Cleveland's offense, right? Uh, no, they didn't run the ball great last week outside of one 69-yarder. Their quarterback put up terrible stats. Their top receiver was clamped. Watson's going to throw on the run, and that pass is picked. What a disaster for Watson in Cleveland. Yet the Browns won the game. Deshaun Watson left hurt. He was ruled okay to return. Coach, I'm good, man. Mm, I don't know. You look kind of woozy. What are you talking about? I'm ready to go back in the game. Yeah, it's just PJ Walker beat the 49ers last week, and now he's going to beat the Colts, so he's kind of 2-0 oh now. A majestic pass by Walker threading the needle to Moore. They pick up 30. <laughs> we could go through Seattle's defensive stats. They shut down Joshua Dobbs. Their secondary is improving, blah, blah, blah. Dobbs on second down. Hard hit made by Jordan Brooks. But what does it matter? Indianapolis's defense took care of Walker as a passer. They pressured him over 40% of passes. Walker hit him the throw. He's got a man to Joku, but that contact likely affected that pass. And still, the Browns won and are 4-2. and two. As Ford breaks one, Ford toting the rock to the house. And Jerome Ford is just able to turn on the Jets. Seattle isn't facing an offense that looks good on paper, and they don't face a defense coming in off a great outing either. 38 points, rating allowed almost 120, over 300 yards passing to Uncle Rico, over 13 yards per attempt allowed to him. Downs is wide open! Downs! Touchdown! The Browns gave up over 160 rushing yards on 4.2 a run, allowed Indy to go 7 for 15 on third down. Taylor on the take and he's in! and the Browns won. Sure, Cleveland's offense hasn't been great overall in 2023, but their defense has. They just had a lot of random out-of-character play last week, gave up a bunch of big splash plays. To take down Seattle, they need to clean up a lot. In theory, Geno put up a 100-plus rating versus Arizona, two touchdowns over nine yards per attempt. Smith rolling right, lobs one up, and it is caught by the tight end, Colby Parkinson. He didn't even have DK available. They hope to get Metcalf back for this one. Without him, a few more targets went to Jackson Smith and Jigba, 63 yards and a TD. Started the year quiet, 48 plus yards his last two games. Here's Smith, fires, touchdown! It's Jackson Smith and Jigba, his first NFL TD. Tyler Lockett only 38 yards last week. Big key to this side of things, Miles Garrett versus Seattle's O-line. Will Geno Smith have the same amount of time versus Cleveland as he did last week? Versus Arizona only faced pressure 20% of the time. That's really, really low. Smith from the shotgun, third down. Aaron one out, and the catch is made by Jake Bobo. Unless he speeds up how fast he gets rid of the ball this week, it would be hard to see him feel as comfy in the pocket with the one-man wrecking machine coming. Here comes uh -oh. Garrett, football's loose. Who's got it? Cleveland. It's still loose, no signal yet. Touchdown as Miles Garrett just keeps on coming. Garrett is the real reason Cleveland won last week. He blocked a field goal, sacked Gardner Minshew twice, all three plays led to Brown's points. Just going to leap right over, doesn't touch anybody, perfectly legal, gets his hands up and makes a play. That just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make Some things in life make sense. That is not one of them. I tell you that for sure. Hawks, of course, will hit Cleveland with plenty of Kenneth Walker. He had over 100 yards rushing last week. There's Walker, cuts to the outside. First down and more. Kenneth Walker still going. Cleveland, though, holding running backs to 3.8 a run. They're tough. 
12s versus the dog pound. You guys are the real experts, so lay out the most important talking points to this game in the comments section. We will conclude with our panel of 10s predictions.